It's a wet and miserable morning. Apparently there's a storm on the way. And I am starting the next section of the Ireland Way, the Suck Valley Way. Back on the roads, you can see, hiking boots, hiking boots, and shoes. The best combination i found, so it's working well for me. No blisters, well, one, sorry, one blister, one blister on, on, one of my, on the tip of my toes. But, um, yeah, if you're in good shape. As I'm sure you can hear in my surroundings, the storm looks like it's rolling in. Um, I've got about a couple of hours to hike yet. Uh, the winds are starting to pick up. Um, the trees are blowing around the place. Looking at the map, come to a point where I can go down there towards Glinsk, or I can cut out maybe three kilometers and go that way. That brings me back on the path. Honestly, I'm very tempted to cut, and um, I'm just I don't know, I've just not enjoyed today. Got a bit fed up with the walk, and um, I don't know, just didn't click with me for some reason. I suppose you have those days, but uh, oh, I'm gonna stick, stick to the route and uh, head towards Linsk. Suck Valley Way people, you're gonna have to get your act together. There's an Elvis there with no face on it and I don't have a bloody clue if I'm going the right way or not. did end up reaching Bali more, but not without some bull dodging. Who might I add, was having none of me on his land. Eventually, I was able to enjoy putting my feet up. Okay, so this is where things get a bit tricky. Uh, I'm following the Suk Valley Way, but I'm not following the Suk Valley Way because I'm following the Ireland Way. So I've just come out of the bog and um, basically come to a T. You know, Suk Valley Way continues that way, but I'm going the Ireland Way, and the guidebook I think is telling me that way. So when you come out of the bog, come out of the bog, you're going to take a left. I bloody well hope so. Uh, I'm going to try the left, the map's saying the left, so I'm going to try the left and hopefully uh, get my way to Ballinlock uh, that way. Okay. Wish me luck.
Irish weather, you don't really know what to expect. Like expecting this big storm, and yet um, it's blue skies over my head. <laughs> Class. Shouldn't speak too soon though. Shouldn't speak too soon. At least I'm making friends wherever I go anyway. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. So really it's amazing what can happen. Your day can seem like nothing's really going to happen and next thing you get talking to people and all of a sudden it's like boom. I was in, I was in daybreak, I need to get my stamp. Got my stamp and then I got talking to uh, Paul and Paul then introduced me to Dermot who then gave me the whole tour of Ballinlock and oh the whole story of when Donald Cam came in and what happened and just absolutely fascinating fascinating stuff and just so lucky and privileged to have actually uh, had a chance to meet him and, and, and got that information it's uh, you just never know who you're going to meet in the Ireland Way, it's fantastic. Hitting Loch Lynn signified the end of this section of the Ireland Way, and not before time too, as Storm Alley was very much on the way.